Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer with another video for Angular Material series. To be honest, this should be a quick video, as we will work with the slide toggle component from Angular Material. Here on my screen you can see such a component, it is just this switch that we can turn on and off, and you will see how can we use that one. Before we start, did you know that only around 2% of you who are watching my videos are actually subscribed to my YouTube channel. So, if you are not subscribed, be sure to subscribe as I am posting new content weekly. Now, into this video. Now, first thing that I will do for this video is generate a component for our slide toggle. To do that, I will use ng, g for generate, c for component, and I will go into components, slash, slide, toggle. Once our component is generated, we can go into our app.component.html file and here I will uh, hide this side nav component from the last video. If you wish to watch that video, you will have a link down in the description of this one. And after this side nav, I will use slide toggle as a comment and use app slide toggle here to use the component that we just generated. Let me also add here the ending comment, which is end of slide toggle. So, there is something that you need to know before we start working with this slide toggle. Well, toggles in general, well, these switches that we can use are working on a principle of checkbox. So, we can check it and uncheck it. Which means that this slide toggle from Angular Material, uh, well, works in a similar way. But even though it works in a similar way, we still have a separate module for, for this slide toggle that we should import. So, here, I will first of all move my slide toggle component to a top, right here, and inside of my material components, I will import mat slide toggle, well, mat slide toggle module, and I will import that from at angular slash material slash slide toggle. Now we can also pass this module down in imports array, and we are ready to use this component. To use this component, that is quite straightforward. So here I will open up the slide toggle.component.html uh, file. And first of all, I will create one div with a style attribute on it, which will hold text align to center and also margin top to be 50 pixel. And if you wish to use slide toggle, you can just, well, create one line of code here. To create it, we can use mat slide toggle element from material and as we imported the module for it well we will use correctly this component one last thing that you can pass here is a text for this slide toggle for example this slide toggle can be often used to turn on and off the dark theme the dark mode for the application so here i can say dark theme or dark mode as you wish and that is pretty much it about this component. There is nothing much to say anymore because it works similarly as a checkbox and we already work with the checkbox in this series. And this is just a checkbox basically with a different design. It looks as a slider, as a, it is a toggleball. And one thing that you can see here that it will come with this accent color from material as a primary color for this component. So the last thing before I close this video, well, did you know that only around 2% of you who are watching my videos are actually subscribed to my YouTube channel? If you are not subscribed, be sure to subscribe as I am posting a new content weekly. Thank you all once again and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.